Hello there, Gregory Carlson here with the Calculus Building. Let's do two more of finding tangent lines. And it wants to know, for the function, find the points, and there may be more than one, on the graph at which the tangent line is horizontal. So we see here we have a cubic function, and there's kind of two things that can happen with those. Uh, this is what the parent function of a cubic function looks like. And in fact, right here at this point right here, you can show by doing the process we're about to do, you can show that the derivative at that point is going to equal 0 uh, right here at 0, 0. But the other thing that can happen is this. And if this is what our cubic graph looks like, you can see that there might be more than one place where we have a horizontal tangent line. And you might notice, we'll talk about this later, but this point right here where the tangent line is 0 is a local maximum, and this point is a local minimum. So that's going to be useful a little bit later. So anyway, for the function, let's find where the tangent line is horizontal. And we can do that by finding the derivative. So in this example, the derivative is going to be 3x squared. Bring down the 2, minus 26x plus 35. And the derivative of 9 is just 0, so I don't even need to include any of that. I could put a plus 0 if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So here's our derivative function. This is the slope of this graph at every point. And we want to find out when it's horizontal. So it's as simple as plugging in a 0 right here. So we replace our derivative with a 0 to try to find uh, the slope where it's 0. And so now we just solve this equation. And so this graph right here, this might be factorable. I'm not sure if it's factorable or not. This 3 makes it a little challenging. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it straight into the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b, which is negative negative 26, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which I'm going to calculate now, which is 676, minus 4 times a times c, which would be 4 times... 3 times 35, which is 420, all divided by 2a. So there you go. There's our quadratic formula. Let's turn these two negatives to pluses, and let's do 676 minus 420. Oops, 676 minus 420, which equals 256, and that actually will have a square root. So we could have factored that. Oh, well. So we get 26 plus or minus 16 divided by 2a. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what the two values would be. 26 plus 16 would be 42 over 6. And 26 minus 16 would be 10 over 6. So the two places where we're going to have horizontal uh, tangent lines, 42 divided by 6 is 7, or let's reduce that 5 over 3. So you can see that we have two places where we're going to have points that have horizontal tangent lines in this problem. So pretty easy to find horizontal tangent lines. Just take the derivative of this, set it to 0, solve for x. Just, just three steps. In fact, why don't you try to do this next one on your own? We've got what looks like to be a quadratic equation right here, and we want to find out where is that graph going to have a slope of 7. So why don't you try to pause the video here and see if you can get it. All right, hopefully you paused the video. Let's see if my answer matches your answer. First, take the derivative, so dy dx is equal to, this will be, bring down the 2, so negative 0.05x plus 9. So that's going to be the derivative right there, really easy to solve. This time they want to know where does the graph have a derivative of 7, so that's the value that we plug in for dy dx. We want to know when is the slope equal to 7. And now it's just as simple as solving this equation. So we subtract 9 on both sides. Negative 2 is equal to negative 0.05x. 
almost there. Now we just divide by negative 0 0.05. Okie dokie, so that cancels. So we're going to get x is equal to, and that will become a positive number, and 2 divided by 0 0.05 is equal to 40. So there you go, we have this upside down parabola and at the value x equals 40, the instantaneous rate of change at that point is going to equal 7. So that's how you find uh, horizontal tangent lines. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. In the next video, we are going to look at some applications of finding the derivative at a point. So I will see you, I'll see you in the next video.